Welcome along, guys, to perhaps the penultimate episode of the SMCR build. I think this will probably be the last day in the garage before we go out, ride the bike, give it a good shakedown, iron out any potential issues which are thrown up from the test ride. But in today's episode, it's getting, uh, well, we're, we're, it's the finishing touches. First of all, I have a new seat cover to fit. I mentioned this before, this is from Louis Moto. They've also sent me some of their soft gel to make a really comfortable ride. Of course, I've got the comfort seat, the SMCR, but I've also got the standard seat. So I'm gonna fit this gel, this seat cover to the original seat and see if, it, if I can make it as comfortable as the comfort seat, if not more comfortable, hopefully, and also a custom seat cover with another LCR logo on. <laughs> I also want to fully service the bike before I use it for the season. So I'm gonna be doing a full oil change, new filters, new screens and everything. I bought this full uh, full service kit. Gonna be changing the oil. No prizes for guessing which oil I'm gonna be using. <laughs> I'm also gonna be fitting the P3 full carbon fiber bash plate. It's probably the last thing to go onto the bike before we do the test ride. And also I'm gonna mention the uh, competition, which I mentioned a few episodes ago from Silkeline, loads of gear to give away. So you can uh, have a guess at the overall weight saving on the bike to win yourself some Silkeline gear as well. So without further ado, Mavis, what do we say? It's time to roll the intro. Roll, roll, roll. Let's get going. Ooh, move your body, Mavis, move your body. Oh, you haven't got a body, have you? Sorry topic. So I'm afraid I've done it again. Whilst you've been away, I have fitted the Moto Master chain to the bike. So it's basically rolling now. It's ready to rock. Chain fitted, gold chain of course. This is the Moto Master chain with the Moto Master chain and sprocket kits there yeah, you didn't know they did chain and sprockets as well did you also the front end is fully sorted i've uh, fitted the brake pads i got the clip i was missing it's a bit of a pig to bleed the brakes on this i have to say took me a long time to get the brakes to bleed seated the wheel all properly as well i almost wish i'd recorded how to seat your wheel properly i did a bit of research with dave moss to make sure i got everything aligned nicely you know the pinch bolts and maybe i'll do a, a video on how to align your wheels when you take the wheels out because i didn't realize there was quite as much of a science to it i'm absolutely itching to ride the bike but before we do i just want to finish off the finishing touches so let's do the seat cover Let's uh, service it, let's put the bash plate on, and then let's go for a ride, but probably in the next episode. But I may let you hear it outside today with that You're full so technology generous. system. <laughs> I'm, now, I'm now getting really rather excited about this. Tip of the week. There's actually something else which I've done to this bike, which I've completely forgotten to mention. On the KTM standard, you get a load of waggle in the throttle grip. It's a fully ride by wire throttle, so there's no cables whatsoever, and they're really waggly. I fitted a uh, throttle spacer from Ducati Throttle Spacers, I think they're called, 20 quid. It's basically a little insert which goes in here um, just to take the slack out of the system, and now it is no slack at all. Snappy, no forward or back slack. Absolutely beautiful. So if you, if you hate your waggly KTM throttles, the Catty Throttle Spaces, I think they're called. I'll put a link below. Tip of the week. So Louis Moto seat cover, first of all. Looks rather splendid. As I say, custom LCR logos again. <laughs> oh, I may have to get uh, Crispy Designs to reprint a few of the panels with a few less logos on the bike because uh, it's getting a bit embarrassing. <laughs> what they've also scent is some of their gel this is their gold gel so basically you put that into the foam you cut the standard seat foam out put this in place and that should help support my ample body first of all you've got to get the standard cover off so you've got these staples all the way around so i guess really it's the painful job now of pulling out all of these uh, staples oh, this is a fun job Standard horrible seat cover. Huh. Oh. Come on, chops, you can do better than that. 
what the idea is is you fit this on top you know obviously it's not that big so you have to work out where you normally sit on the bike I sort of tend to sit in the middle I guess you know I try to I, I ride it like an enduro so I keep my weight up front on the seat most of the time so I think I'm gonna fit it around about there maybe just there there I might have to sit on the bike to actually work out exactly where I sit <laughs> back in a minute these are active bikes anyway so you know you move up the front on this you may move back you know for doing wheelies but it's where you sort of sit most of the time the back of my ass is i've got a big ass so ha the back of my ass is a hand my coccyx is a hand width from the back of the seat just over and another hand to the front so going back here i'm sitting sort of a hand from there and a hand from there so yeah my ass is quite big that is one big bottom feel that mavis feel it oh you can't can you ain't got any arms ain't got any fingers that feels like some sort of a uh, breast implant that i could finger that all day mavis do you want to have a finger oh dear oh dear going a bit far there chop see now do you take off the plastic do, is it got like a plastic film yeah i guess you yeah, oh, it's quite sticky. So what you have to do now is actually sink this gel into your foam. You have to cut the foam out to sink that in so it sits level with the foam. It doesn't just sit on top like that, obviously. That would be ridiculous. There we go, that'll do. Now we've just got to cut these out now. Gone in too deep, Mavis. As I do. For a comfortable bottom and basically you do that you cut in little holes okay first pass we've got some material out it's taken me about 15 minutes i suppose to get to this stage sort of scraping it i can see you know it's not enough it's not even all the way around here we're getting close on this edge you didn't know i was a master upholsterer as well did you jack of all trades me Jack of all trades, master of none. If you had hands, you could have a go. Get in the sea. But you don't, so shut up. That was a messy old job. <laughs> but the seat is in there, the foam's in there. What I've got to do now, you've, you actually get a cover to go over the top as well, to stick down, you know, just to make that transition nicer. Once you've got the full cover on, you can see that actually goes over there. You can't really see that at all, can you? So I'm just going to stick that down. Spray glue. What is silly string? Who's had my scissors? Okay, so there we go. Foam stuck down, gel inserted. You can vaguely see where the gel is, that tiny little bit. This is now where it gets a bit more tricky. <laughs> if you thought that was tricky already, now why I think this is going to be particularly tricky on this bike is because where you've got a staple is right inside of here. But we'll see how we get on actually stapling it because it's a big recess here. Normally a seat doesn't have a recess like that. My little stapler isn't man enough to get the safe staples into hard plastic. So I'm going to heat the plastic up a little bit with a heat gun just to soften it and I'm hoping it will take the staples better. Alarm there. Shut up. That's better. The difference that makes. A bit more gentle on the heat this time. Bring out the big boy. There we go. All done. Took a bit of effort quite well not hard but it takes time to do that so pretty pleased with it i mean it's difficult the seat material is hard if i hadn't had that industrial pneumatic staple gun it would have been even more tricky but it's done now it's looking fantastic next step is i want to do an oil change on the bike so that's all fresh for the season ahead so we're going to drop the oil out put in some silkaline 
oil. Uh, then we can fit the remaining SM project bits and pieces I've got. Also the P3 sump guard. And I think we're then done. We're then finished. But before I change the oil, we're going to obviously warm the bike. So now is your chance to hear that full Tecmo system. So let's wheel the bike outside, fire her up and listen to this because it sounds rather good. So the bike is now beautiful and warm. That oil will run out like a like cracking an egg. As part of this oil change, I've gone for the full filter kit with new screens, new bolts, everything. What I tend to do when I've had my 701 is every first service, I'll just clean these out with a uh, brake cleaner or something. But it, that's the, every, just the second time, if you like, I change the oil. I actually replace these to make sure they're all new. It does cost about 50 quid for this full filter change kit you know with the screens and everything but uh, every other service because these bikes do 6,000 miles service intervals it's not like you're dropping the oil every 16 hours like on the uh, the EXC model so it does the miles so why not treat it to a new filter and everything the oil I'm putting in is of course Silkaline this is the it's, this bike takes a 10w50 slightly different to what the h2 took um, only takes 1.6 litres as well, so hardly any oil really. So two litres will do you a full change, which will last you 6,000 miles, according to the service booklet. But I only t I tend to change them every 3,000 miles. What I'll do, I'll run through the oil change quite quickly because we did this the other day <laughs> with the H2. There she blows. As you'll see with the KTMs, they have all sorts of filters and screens and, and everything. So I'm going to have a little wipe of my drain plug because it's actually got a magnet on the end of there and let's try and zoom in this bike has got 2000 miles it's had its first service done and that's it so it's probably really due for another it's been on track days and all sorts so uh, it's been used quite hard so just wipe that off and let's see how much metal we got on there it's a magnet it's a little tiny it's nothing nothing too serious i would say there Where's my rags? Where's my rags? Mavis, you've let me start this without rags again. Come on now. Find your own rags. You might be looking after me here. All clean, ready for refitting. God, who did that up? King Kong. First screen. Tiny few little bits on there, but uh, perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. And as I say, I'm not going to clean that out. I'm going to replace the whole thing. Next up, the first of the filters. I'm pleased to see King Kong. That's not been here. There he comes. Filter number one. Filter number two. Get him off and get him out. Filter out this side. There we go. Slightly smaller, the filter this side. And last, but by no means least, there's another screen filter here. All right at the bottom. And there we go, the last screen removed, time to put it all back together. What I'll do now, what I mentioned the other day, once you drop the bike off the stand, then rock it left and right. Because that just rocks out any oil which is left in it. You can see all that extra oil which is coming out. Just get every last drop out of the bike. Beautiful. And Bernard Matthews once said, before he died. What do you think, Mavis? Job well done? Well, the job has been done. I should have known you wouldn't be happy. Could have bet the house deeds on it. Excuse Mavis, everyone. It's the time of the month. Software update. That's the oil out, old screens out. Now we will fit the final pieces of SM Project Bling to the engine. These are absolutely lovely. So that's going to go something like that. 
OMG, shakshi. A little bit of fresh oil around the rim. Give it a good rimming. And then slide him in. Push it on. You knew I couldn't help a rimming joke there, Mavis. Lube up the O-ring. Disgusting. <laughs> All right, Mavis. Apply the new O-ring to the cover. I will talk these up. It's 14 Newton meters, I believe. That's right, Mavis, isn't it? Oil for the cover. There we go. They are just nipped, awaiting talking. I'll talk everything up at the end. All right, so I've fitted the new filter. I've oiled the ends. I've got the new SM Project cover. Fitted the O-ring, oiled it. So I've just got to now work out which way around it goes, like that. And then just screw this back on. Look at that, Bruce. Look at that. Job done. Oil change done. Fresh oil. What a lovely feeling. Well, I'm not fresh yet. I've got to fill it up yet. Got to put the oil back in. But that'll do for oil changes. I won't bore you with the adding of the oil. There we go, a little sneak peek of the bike. I'm gonna do a full reveal when I do the test ride when we're out, but that's just a little sneaky peeky of how she's looking. There she is. Ooh, it's sexy. Oh yeah, competition time. Mavis, tell the lovely people what they could win. Thank you very much, I feel very sexy in my sparkly outfit, but here is what you could win. Silkaline Pro Engine Oil, four liters. Spray chain cleaner. Pro chain oil, brake and chain cleaner, wash off spray, all in one multi-purpose oil. Thank you Mavis, you're looking beautiful as ever. She's got into the spirit of this. She's got herself a sparkly frock and she's had her hair done. So uh, my lovely assistant, Ma Mavis, put them away. Put them away, put your dress back on, put them away. No one wants to see that. Where's my bleach? I need to wash my eyes out now. What you have to do to enter to win this selection of Silkaline goodies. I've actually got three sets of these prizes to give away. What you have to do to win this is throughout this entire series, I've been weighing and comparing weights of the bits I've been putting on. So you have to tell me in the comments below how much weight in total you think I've shed from the bike. The overall weight loss of the bike. But remember, I fitted things like uh, crash protection, bash plates, power commanders. So not only have I taken stuff off, I've put extra stuff on the bike. So what we're talking about is the overall weight loss of the bike from when I started to when I finished. So if you think I've lost 15 kilos off the bike, you need to say 15.25 kilos or whatever. And the people, the three people, which are the closest to the actual figure, get to win the Silkaline goodies. Caveats are, you have to be in the UK, because I'm not shipping that lot overseas, it cost me a fortune. So you have to be in the UK, you have to be a subscriber and guess the closest weight and you could win yourself one of the three prizes I've got to give away. I have actually ridden the bike now, but I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to record a full test ride review it will be the next video. So we're done in the garage, but as a little teaser and to leave you with this, here's a tiny little piece of how she sounds and how she goes. It's all clear. Doesn't she look pretty? You look very pretty, Mavis. I don't care what they say, you look very, very pretty. I'm feeling rather sexy in my lovely dress. You look lovely, Mavis.